um, archer inverted rows using the rack, squat rack. Now, when it comes to the setup of this exercise, we want to make sure that the force that we're applying, we're pulling it into the rack. So give you an example. If I was to lean back in this position here, the bar then rolls away from the rack and I'm now at risk of the bar slipping out and me falling back and potentially losing some teeth. So instead, when performing it, this being the back side of the rack, I want to face in the position where I'm applying the force. Here, no matter how hard I push, how much movement I cause, the rack isn't going to fall back. The bar has nowhere to go. It is stuck in that position so long as you're applying force in that position. Now, now that we've got that sorted, some other things to keep in mind. The placement of the bar is important. Generally, you can start with about waist level or just a bit higher. Um, generally, the higher you place it, the easier it's going to be. The lower you place it, the harder it's going to be. There's a fine point though. If you go too low, it's going to limit your range of motion. And if you go too high, it's just going to change the movement altogether. We want this to be a rowing movement. Other than placement of the bar, another thing that you can play with, another variable, is if you do it with bent or straight leg. Straight leg is going to be harder bent leg is going to be easier. So don't be afraid to play with these two variables depending on how you're feeling on the day um, and what intensity um, you're working at. Um, now, to get into the exercise. So we're going to be selecting a wide grip. The archer variation, the idea of it is um, you're working predominantly one side, but the other side is still giving assistance. So you can think of it as a si single arm exercise with say 10% of the opposite side being worked at the same time as well. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna imagine that I'm doing my left side first, I'm gonna do five reps on my left side first. One, two, three, four, five. Now, as you can see, wide grip, and I was pulling to my left side on every rep. Was my right arm working? Yep, a little bit. Was it bending a bit? Yes, a little bit. However, majority of the movement was occurring on the left side and I was shifting to the left side as I performed the exercise. Now that I've done the left side, I'm then gonna do the other side. Again, wide grip, set, row. One, two, three, four, five. Now, um, if you really struggle with that wide grip position and you simply don't have the unilateral strength to get an effective pull in that position and you've tried playing with the height, you know, you've put it higher to make it easier, you've bent your legs to make it easier, what you can then do, if it's still too challenging to perform that single side at a time, bring the grip in marginally and that'll make it a little bit easier. That'll increase engagement of the opposite arm. Well, that's fine, so long as you can establish a baseline Build upon that, and then over time, you can go back to that wider grip. Um, other than that, focus on control. Don't use momentum and sort of jerk yourself up to the bar every single time. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward.